Hi, my name is Nurse Ratchet and this is Dr. Jekyll. We are here to educate you on a common form of complementary alternative medicine called gelation. Chelation therapy is the process of binding heavy metals to organic molecules, in order to remove heavy metals from the body. It is the basis for many different types of therapy including treatments for CAD, PAD, heavy metal toxicities, thalassemia, autism and cancer therapy. Gelation therapy was initially discovered in the 20s, with the advent of new paint materials contaminated with heavy metals. Gelating agents were then used to remove those heavy metals. They were adopted into medical treatment during World War I, as an antidote against arsenic-containing gas. It was successfully used by a physician named Dr. Geschichter who treated his chemotherapy patients suffering from toxic nickel complexes using the drug EDTA. The therapy was then used by the Navy in the 1950s to treat iron overload after paint exposure. In the 70s gelation was used for treatment for patients receiving chronic transfusion that led to iron overload. Physicians have now adapted chelation therapy for its primary use of treating patients with iron overload after chronic transfusions related to beta thalassemia, sickle cell disease and other disorders. Without this treatment iron overload occurs because the body has no mechanism to excrete excess iron and thus iron is deposited into end organs such as the heart, liver and endocrine organs. When this deposition occurs chronic dysfunction of organs occurs, increasing risks for morbidity and mortality. In addition to the traditional usage of gelation therapy for iron overload, some people advocate its use for alternative medicine. The Autism Research Institute has been educating doctors in the DAN protocol, otherwise called as the Defeat Autism Now protocol. This program educates doctors in the treatment of autism through the use of a gluten-free diet vitamin supplements, avoidance of allergens and gelation therapy. The gelation therapy is currently approached through the use of holistic gelating agents such as vitamin E, B6, truerin, glutathione which help the body to remove mercury. Vitamin C intravenous strips also appear to help children and adults with mercury overload. A comprehensive treatment plan for chelation over 90 days is around $600. Compared to the inestimable cost of your health, it's a small price to pay. This is an oral therapy conducted by consuming food additive ETA that is used as a stabilizer in food supplements. Because of concern that long-term use of ETA might result in depletion of certain elements, most physicians recommend that a potent vitamin and mineral formula be administered during treatment with ETA. This should be taken with meals and not with the ETA formula. Also, because ETA binds to nutritional as well as to unwanted metallic elements, it is most effective when taken on an empty stomach. For example one hour before, or two to three hours after a meal. Gelation can be used in addition to other therapies to help aid in the recovery and treatment of cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, neurological diseases including MS, MD, and Parkinson's, liver and kidney disease, dementia and Alzheimer's, immune deficiencies, osteoporosis, tooth loss, and even hormonal imbalances and premature aging. In addition, one accepted use of chelation therapy therapy as discussed in healthcare literature is to remove toxic metals such as lead, mercury, cadmium, aluminum, and arsenic from the body. These metals can be relatively toxic even at low levels. Once in the body, these toxic minerals bind to important organic molecules such as enzymes, preventing them from being useful in the body and carrying out air job. They often bind to sulfur atoms within an enzyme or within a peptide hormone like insulin, which normally binds to zinc. However, toxic metals such as cadmium, sneak in and replace zinc, resulting in molecules that don't work properly. All of these toxic metals can affect the cells of the brain, the endocrine glands, and many other organs and body systems. People can become extremely sick and there is even a risk of mortality if not treated properly, so regarding these circumstances chelation therapy is extremely useful. However, in opposition, 
there are many details that do not support or recommend chelation therapy as a complementary alternative therapy. Participating in gelation cleansing without following a proper diet and nutritional regimen, individuals can deprive themselves of trace vitamins and minerals that are extremely important in the body and are needed for metabolic processes. These vitamins and minerals include zinc, copper, calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus. Studies have not shown much improvement when using chelation therapy to treat medical conditions such as autistic spectrum disorder. In addition this therapy is expensive, thus making it not the most ideal option for the majority of the population. Studies show many other treatment options, such as balanced diet and proper vitamin and mineral intake that are cheaper, healthier, and have a better outcome than chelation.